Please topic is applications to difference equations using Z transforms. So in this video, I'm going to solve the difference equations using Z transforms. That is y of k plus 2 minus 5 times of y of k plus 1 plus 6 times of y of k is equal to 5 power n. Where the conditions given are y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 0. In order to solve this, so we have certain conditions that is Z transform of y of k is equal to capital Y of Z. And next one, Z transform of Y of K plus 1 can be written as Z times of Y of Z minus Y naught. And next one, Z transform of Y of K plus 2 can be written as this is Z square times of this is Y of Z minus Y naught. This is Y1 by Z. So these are the conditions which are needed to solve this. So next one, from the question what is given? So the question here is y of k plus 2 minus 5 times of y of k plus 1 plus 6 times of y of k is equal to this is 5 power n. And clearly I am taking z transforms on both sides. So taking z transforms on both sides. After taking Z transforms on both sides, see what happens. So, this will become Z transforms of Y of K plus 2 minus 5 times of Z transform of Y of K plus 1 plus 6 times of Z transform of Y of K is equal to Z transform of 5 power N. Clearly, if you note this one, Z transform of Y of K plus 1 can be written as can be written as this is z square z square times of capital y of z minus y naught minus this is y1 by z clear and next one five times of z transform of y of k plus one can be written as this is z times of capital y of z minus y naught plus six times of Z transform of Y of K can be written as this is Y of Z and this value is and next one I am going to show you according to our special functions in Z transforms that is Z transform of A power N is equal to this is Z by Z minus A. So in place of A we have 5. So this can be written as Z by this is Z minus 5 and here are certain conditions. So what are the conditions given? y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to again 0. So y0 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to 0. So these are the conditions. So if I apply here, so in place of y0 as 0 and in place of y1 as 0, what remains? This is z square times of this is y of z, y0 0 and y1 0. And next one, this is 5z times of this is y of z, y0 is equal to 0 plus 6 times of this is y of z. And this is z by, this is z minus 5. Clear? So, if I take this y of z common from this. So, if I take this y of z, what remains? Then y of z, if I take common, this will be z square minus 5z plus 6 by, this is z by z minus 5. And the next step here is, so if I send this z square minus 5z plus 6 to the other side. So what happens? This is z minus 5 into this is z square minus 5z plus 6. And if I send z to other side, this will be yz by z is equal to 1 by z minus 5 times of this is z square minus 5z plus 6. So if I split into factors, so this one, so this will become z square 6 to 3z. So 2z minus 3z plus 6. And if I take z common, this will be z minus 2. If I three, take 3 common, this will be z minus 2. So if I take z minus 2 common, so what remains? z minus 3. So in place of z square minus 5z plus 6, I am going to write z minus 2 into z minus 3. And now this becomes, see here, this value becomes y of z by z is equal to this is y of z by z is equal to 1 by. So, this is z minus 2 into z minus 3 into this is z minus 5. Now, I will split into, I will resolve into partial fractions. 
So this is a by z minus 2 plus next one b by z minus 3 plus c by this is z minus 5. So if I split into partial fractions, so this will become this is 1 by z minus 2 into z minus 3 into this is z minus 5. So this value is if I take LCM that is z minus 2 into z minus 3 into z minus 5. What remains here? This is A times of z minus 3 into z minus 5 plus B times of this is z minus 2 into this is z minus 5 plus C times of z minus 2 into this is z minus 3. So if I cancel the same denominators then the equation so formed is now see the equation so formed is 1 is equal to a times of z minus 3 into z minus 5 plus b times of z minus 2 into this is z minus 5 plus c times of this is z minus 2 into z minus 3. Now in order to get a, b, c and values so we have to keep first I am going to keep z is equal to 2. So if I keep z is equal to 2 what? will become 0, this will become 0 and this will become 0. So 1 is equal to a times of 2 minus 3 and this is 2 minus 5. So 1 is equal to a times of minus 1 minus 3. So 1 is equal to this is 3a and a value here is 1 by 3. So I got a value as 1 by 3, clear? And next one, if I put z is equal to 3. So, if I keep z is equal to 3, then see what happens. This will become 0 and this will become 0. And here 1 is equal to b times of 3 minus 2. In place of z, I am keeping 3. This is 3 minus 5. So, 1 is equal to b times of this is 1 and this is minus 2. So, 1 is equal to minus 2b and b value is minus 1 by 2. Clear? So, after getting b value, and next one put z is equal to put z is equal to 5 so if i keep z is equal to 5 this will become 0 and this will become 0 so 1 is equal to c times of this is 5 minus 2 and this is 5 minus 3 so 1 is equal to c times of 3 and this value is 6c and c is equal to 1 by 6 so after getting a b c values i have to substitute in the equation so what is the equation here so in this equation if i substitute a value b value and c value y of z by z is equal to a by z minus 2 plus b by z minus 3 plus c by z minus 5 so in place of a the value here is 1 by 3 and here the value of b is minus half and value of c is plus 1 by 6 so if i send z to other side then y of z is equal to 1 by 3 times of z by z minus 2 and next this is minus half times of z by z minus 3 and next one 1 by 6 times of z by z minus 5 now taking z inverse on both sides so taking z inverse on both sides after taking z inverse on both sides see what happens here so this is y of z is equal to 1 by 3 times of z by z minus 2 minus half times of this is z by z minus 3 plus 1 by 6 times of this is z by z minus 5. If I take completely throughout the equation z inverse, so this will become z inverse of y of z. This is z inverse of z by z minus 2, z inverse of z by z minus 3 and z inverse of z by z minus 5. Clearly, we have a uh, special function formulae that is z inverse of z inverse of z by z minus a is equal to a power n. So, in place of a, we have 2 here and therefore z inverse of c here z inverse of y of z is equal to one third times of this is 2 power n minus half times of this is 3 power n this is 1 by 6 times of so this is 5 power n so this is how we have to solve and hope you all guys understand and let me explain you once again so in order to solve the difference equation so we have to take these conditions 
and this is the question and we have to take z transforms on both sides and after taking z transforms on both sides z transform of phi bar n can be written as z by z minus 5 and after that the conditions we have to substitute here y not as 0 and y1 as 0 and this remains and i am sending this to other side and i have split into factors and this is z minus 2 into z minus 3 and after resolving it to partial fractions i need the values of a b c after getting a b c values i substituted here and next one i have taken z inverse on both sides and according to our special function formula this is a power n so this will be 2 power n 3 power n and 5 power n this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching and here is the complete playlist i am going to upload very very soon uh, z transforms please practice well and those are the only important questions from the textbook and uh, pass it on to your friends definitely it will be very very helpful and thank you so much for watching and staying till the end